welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a muchly anticipated video on how to take and edit your nail pictures for Instagram. So if that is something that you think would interest you, stay tuned. nail pictures last week and as I was editing them I sat down with my notes that I'd used for YouTube and I kind of wrote down little tips as if I was speaking to you right then while I was editing the video. So I wrote them down so I would be able to give them to you today and I'm also going to do a little picture in picture to show you what I do on my iPad or on my phone on the PicMonkey app. PicMonkey is what I use. I do pay for it, but the things that you pay for are kind of more on desktop. And uh, what I'm gonna show you is right on the app. So therefore it would be the same as the free version and you're not, uh, that way I'm not doing things that you can't do on the app. So I'm gonna show you right on the app exactly what I do, but we'll get to that. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is equipment. I do have a camera that I am filming on. I purchased it more so to film than to actually take pictures. But when I take pictures, I take them with both my camera and with my phone, kind of just to get that different perspective because they do kind of look different sometimes. I also have really good lighting. I have a couple of ring lights, but again, we'll get to that in a minute. So the first tip is to make sure that you are cleaning the dust from the hand and the nails. I have compressed air that I use. I wipe them. I mean, all the things kind of making sure that like, yes, you get the dust from here, but have you got the dust from like around here? Um, another thing is not using too much oil for in your picture. So generally what happens is I wipe the dispersion film if need be, if I'm not using a no wipe, if I am using a no wipe, I let it cool just for a bit, like let's say a minute while I'm cleaning up my desk a little bit so we can take the picture. Then I put the oil on and I leave it. I put the oil on, I rub it in good, and I rub it in good under here, and then I leave it. Um, I scooch over, I grab my light, it's right near my desk. I remove my towel, do those sorts of things so that I'm ready with my white background, which is actually my desk the linen desk from Ikea. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it's called, but it's an Ikea desk. Um, so while I'm doing that, the oil is soaking in. Then I take a clean pad and with acetone, I just give it like a one, two, three, take that oil, the bulk of the oil, like out of the cuticle where it pools and off of the top coat. And then I leave them be again for a second without touching them. Sometimes if things look a little bit cloudy, you can take a dry lint-free wipe and kind of buff them and it will bring the shine right back. So that's all stuff that you can do kind of as you're preparing yourself. You can kind of keep coming back to the nails. Learn how to multitask too when you're taking these nail pictures because a lot of times you don't have a whole lot of time to take them. Um, so you kind of have to be able to do it just like that. So another tip is not to use the flash on your phone. It almost never does good things, ever. Um, just, just don't use it. Just don't use it. So the next tip is trying not to have too much going on in the background. This is both for keeping your Instagram cohesive, clear through, and for just not taking away from the nails. So, for example, you know, if my client is holding this and I'm taking the nail picture, or whatever the case is, it just it takes away a lot of times from the nail picture. Um, if it's something that you're trying to showcase, maybe there's a way that you can work that into it. Um, right off the top of my head, um, Ugly Duckling comes to mind. They often will kind of have like a bottle with their picture, not holding it, but so check them out. I'm sure there's others. Even if you just kind of saved the picture as you went, if you happened to see them then it would be helpful in, in trying to recreate that later. So the next tip is to keep an album of favorite poses for a later date. When I'm scrolling through, I will actually record this and show you. 
um, because not a lot of people know this and I find it funny but not a lot of people know that you can save a picture on your Instagram within your Instagram so I'm gonna show you so I am on my Instagram right now hopefully I'm popping this up right here or right now I'm on my Instagram and this one by perfect 10 custom nails which have the coolest designs it's the first one that popped up and I'm going to save it I'm gonna come down to the bottom right hand corner of the picture and click that little bookmark and it says save to collection so that's one way to do it but I also have different albums so I'm gonna click that again to unsave it and I'm going to hold it this time save to recreate so those are things that I want to recreate those are things I want to play with food Valentine's Day holiday so let's say these are ones I want to recreate so I touch recreate and it saves it to the recreate album so that is how you save an Instagram picture it just helps because if you're screenshotting it and it's going God knows where, right? I mean, I don't know how many uh, pictures you guys have in your albums, but I, I have a few and then they go to the cloud and I don't know what happens in the cloud and I don't want you to explain it to me. I don't need to know what happens in the cloud. But anyway, that is the best way. That just went on a tangent. Okay, so trying to have decent lighting, even if it's just your table lamp, like your table light, your overhead light sometimes gives the perfect, that was how I took my pictures for the longest time. But in this location, I have a ton of light in the ceiling and I don't use a table lamp anymore. So that was not something that I had. I have ring lights. I have a ring light listed down below. I have one more ring light that I'm gonna show you. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. So this ring light, I just keep in a drawer because it's not very big. Like that's my hand. I'm not an overly big person. Um, it plugs in USB. So I have a power bar right underneath my desk. If you look at the last uh, clean with me, I think I actually show it because I'm dealing with some cord issues. It has, I don't know, a six inch tripod on it. And there's a little thing you can let loose here so you can move it. I think it's great. I bought it on Amazon. There's an affiliate link down below. Just know that if you purchase from the affiliate link, I think I might make like a few cents. So thank you if you do do that. I very much appreciate it. It all goes back towards my channel, all of it and more. So there's that. So you don't have to spend a fortune on lighting. You don't need professional lighting. You don't need to, um, I think the, my newest ring light was $69 American. Um, my other ring light was I believe $89 Canadian which kind of would work out to be almost the same. But anyhow, uh, the only reason why I have two is because I film YouTube videos for you guys. You could totally do all the pictures you needed with that little ring light. And then you could pack it in your purse and take it home to do your makeup with. Um, watch for shadows when you're taking pictures. That's another thing. So if you're taking the picture and you notice there's a shadow, move your light. Don't You don't need to necessarily move your client. Move your light around. See if that helps. Take 78 pictures. You can go through them later. Um, don't antagonize over them when you're taking them. Just take a lot of pictures and you'll get to know which pictures are coming through the best for you. Um, so that's kind of all I had for tips, um, but I think that they're helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and get on to my pink, pick, pick monkey and show you exactly what I do to edit the pictures. So we are in my pick monkey right now. We are in my unsorted, which is just in my hub within the amount of pictures that I can save. So I've transferred them over. There is a way, if I come up to the top three buttons in the right hand corner, you can upload from camera roll. So I've already done that. If you've watched my channel before, you can probably recognize a couple of my thumbnails there. Um, so I'm going to go down I'm going to go down to these. Okay. So these were poses that I, that have worked for me before. So I used them again. Keep in mind that I have used my ring light in these. They're not over it. They were, it was just beside me, sitting beside me, pointing towards the nails. So let's go with, I really like this one. You can kind of blow it up and see it. I love that it's foil because it allows me to show you something. Okay, so I'm going to go down at the bottom and click edit. I am then, am, am, am then going to crop 
and I'm going to roll over to the left until I get into the Instagram and I'm gonna go with Instagram post. Obviously, you're gonna make it however you wanna make it. This just, it just simplifies things. So I'm gonna check mark up top, and there you go, it's all cropped. Truly, this is a good picture. I could just use this. But what I'm going to do, second one over on the bottom is adjust. I'm going to click adjust. I'm going to click levels, and I'm gonna turn it up. Just a little, you can see I've only gone just a centimeter there, a little bit. It says 24, I have no idea what that means. I am no professional here. This is just how I do this. Disclaimer. <laughs> then I am going to go into touch up. I am going to go one, two, three, four, five over to brighten. And I'm going to click it. And I'm going to go over the foil. I would also go over any art or any gems. And I do that. Turn it up just a little bit. And the check mark up top in the right hand corner. Then I am going to go to effects. I'm going to, sometimes I mess with them a little bit. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. The one I tend to go with is down here a little bit, pink fog. Now you can see how pink that is. That's obviously not what I want. But when I turn it down quite a bit, pretty well all the way, I, a lot of times I just feel like it brings the true color of the polish back out. Um, more so than without it. That often happens to me. I'm sure there's a, a special reason that I don't understand. But I do tend to use that filter. Um, and sometimes I'll turn it way down to like five, which I think is actually what I did with these. I just cranked it down. I don't ever actually use any set number. So I've cranked that down and then I'm going to hit the check mark up top. You can then go into text and you can write out like liquid chrome nails and you can put your watermark on there. You can also already have your watermark saved to the hub. So I can go into graphics, the little ghost. Then down at the bottom, it's already picked on hub. It's already there. I can go up through that and I might have uh, something with a translucent background there that I can put in there, right there, I have one. This one didn't work out. This is one that I'm not gonna use and I've not used, it needs to be deleted. But it's on a transparent background. See, it's blurry. But I can bring it in and use that as my watermark. So if that was a proper watermark, I could easily use it just like that. Hit the check mark again up top, which I'm not going to do because that looks terrible. But I'm going to hit save. And it says save flattened image to. I'm going to save it to my camera roll down on the left hand corner. And then it's on my camera roll. And then I just upload it to Instagram. So there you go with a quick way on how I edit my pictures. I hope this has helped someone. If you have any questions or if I haven't been clear about anything, pop it down below. There's going to be a end card here soon. On the right hand side is a video that I really think you'd like to watch and on the left hand side is a video that YouTube thinks you'd like to watch. I hope that you watch both of them and I hope that you have subscribed. It means a lot to my channel. Thanks and have a great day.